ashtray, which I love that. I'm going to try the horn. Oh! <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. Today you join me as we are filming this 1985 Escort Gear 1600 and this is actually owned by my brother. For this 1985 old classic car, it's only got 78,000 miles on the clock. It's a five-speed manual. So as you can see behind me, this is in the shade of red. It's actually nearly matching my jacket that I'm wearing today. So I've done a bit of research and I think this colour name is actually called Lacquer Red. So it's like more of a burgundy solid red, but it's quite nice. Now my brother's had one of these Mark III Escorts before. My dad also has as well. I'll talk about that when we're in the car taking it for a spin in a little while. But first we're going to take a look around the car. So this this car is in exceptional condition for a 1985 Ford Escort. So Escort gears always have the chrome around the windows. Also, instead of having side repeaters, we have the all important gear badge where a side repeater may have been. We also have hubcaps all round. This car has also got factory fitted mud flaps as well. As we work our way around, we've got the chrome I just mentioned. When my dad had his, I never got around to filming it. I don't think I was doing YouTube then. When my dad had his, he actually modified his and he decided to paint the middle of this mirror insert body colour. This car also has central locking, which has just surprised me actually. Dad still currently has a Mark IV Escort XR3 in his collection. But what I like particularly about these Mark III's is they have has the more slatted louvered rear lights i just i just love that i don't know why the escort 1.6 gear badge and again we've got more chrome work on the back of the car but for me i prefer the back of these mark 3s to the back of the later mark 4 escorts we've got the plastic corner bits of the bumper here this bit of the bumper is metal and we've got the overriders here we've also got the number plate lights in here but a nice big bulky uh, rear bumper on this escort number plate is particularly cool on this car cam i don't know why i just just like it a bit of a perishing faded worldwide fun wwf sticker there just get out of the way you can see it better with all the reflections there so it has a manual opening sunroof on the top there front again we've got more of the slatted theme happening so we have the slatted again louvers sort of grill which again i really like on this mark III escort and we have more of the chrome work on the front on the end of the bonnet there it looks quite nice there yeah i really like the slats on this car i don't know why but i I like the look of this compared to, like I said, the newer Mark IV Escort. A lot of these Fords were known for rust problems, but this Ford seems to not have much or any at all. I'm going to have a look at the interior on this Mark III Escort. My brother said this is what he liked about the car the most. So just starting with the door card here, we have this brown plastic, basically. A bit of wood here. We have this velour interior. Now, only the gears came with velour. So it's obviously like a beigey, creamy brown colour, along with a darker beige I guess so you have this little cute ashtray which I love that so no seat belts in this car because it's too old to have them but because it didn't come with them you can still see sit in the back without the seat belts we also have an armrest factory fitted rear speakers in the parcel shelf so that's not an aftermarket afterthought thing the brown theme continues now these mark 3 escorts are known for the dashes cracking and this has got that special lovely added feature but all joking apart we've got windy windows here again in the front my brother reckons only the gears came with this wood i don't know if it's real or not i'm not sure so we've got the brown carpet as well just going to hop in try not to get the carpets too dirty because we're a bit muddy here so we've got the five speed manual i actually thought this would have a manual choke but my brother said it's actually an automatic choke We've got indicators. Can I try I'm going to try the horn. Oh, <laughs> this makes the rear wiper work. And if you press it again, it will spray on the window. We have a rear demister here. Then this is a delay wiper setting. So that is pretty cool. So you simply turn it. That's really, really cool. And then we have the wipers here. We have the lights. And then we have a two tone horn, my brother said as well. That is really strange. In here, nice little cubby hole there and we also have a massive one down there as well so what else do we have we have wow these heater controls i don't remember these so this must be your fan speed how hot cold you want it so on the real basic escorts they only come with one speaker and this would be the one speaker but because this isn't as basic as said basic escort i don't think that is anything at all <laughs> so we have a tape original ford wow cassette player there the flap's gone so just excuse that but it does sort of work we have money there and a cigarette lighter as well but I like the way that chrome bit ah, it's a bit strange anyway we have another cubby hole here and another one here we have speaker settings which looks really odd so this is for to set your fader and the balance for your speakers glove box with my 
house keys in at the moment and there we have a rare glove box light apparently now like i said we have the gear stick there again another little storage bit there can break another little storage bit there roof line in here that doesn't seem to be sagging as far as i'm aware you have the sunroof and you can also pull this over as well to cover it over apart from the cracking dashboard that can't be helped with escorts of this age and that's just a known fault as i said it's in really good condition now onto the dash now we have there 78,000 miles and your speed we have your rev counter there we have your fuel gauge and your coolant temperature there and also if you turn ignition on all those lights we've got a lot of warning lights for a car of this year you see these lights do work because one of them is on but it's only to say that the washer fluid is low yeah that car has got all those warning lights for this year that that is quite amazing really and up here we have the clock up here which i used to always be looking at when we used to have our escort cabriolets growing up as a kid so it does say the time there you might not be able to see also has a stopwatch on there as well just so great if you're a passenger you can just look up here and see what the time is i always love this on a ford and the 1600 engine this car has so here we're just talking about the washer fluid being low and you can obviously see it is my brother has done a bit of work to this engine since he's had it so he's changed the cam belt we've got a new water pump down there and the camshaft oil seal has all been changed but apart from that mechanical work the car runs sweet common issue with fords again rust and all that the battery trays usually rust so apart from a couple of leaves down there this is all as it should be as new no rust down there now these batteries at the factory come with square post terminals People often change this, but it's rare to see the original sort of battery terminals on a car. And I think we should go and take it for a, a little spin now. Join us in the Escort. We're just going to obviously take it for just a quick little drive. I don't have the confidence to drive this thing. I don't really like old cars, what well, I do, but it's a bit of a, it's just not got power steering. No. Yeah, no power steering, so no I don't. ABS. No ABS either. Cool. So luckily it's not icy today. It is cold, but not icy. So we should be safe driving his old car on the road. Now at the start of the video, I did say my brother's actually owned uh, one of these Mark III Escorts before, more of um, silver in colour. My dad also has owned a silver Escort in a lighter shade of silver. And when my dad owned his Mark III Escort, he was, went a bit nuts with it. So he wanted to lower it, so he chopped the springs, and I've never known a ride like it. It was absolutely awful, but it was funny at the time looking back. My dad also fitted some steel wheels and he took it to a couple of shows and because it was lowered it did get some looks. He did paint some of the bodywork, uh, body colour, like with the mirrors. So he did nice little tasteful things to the car and then I think he sold it to a chap who wrote it off I believe. Now my brother, when he owned his previous Mark III Escort, there are actually videos on my channel and I'll leave a few links to them old videos in the description to this video and we actually went drifting in the snow one year it was hilarious <laughs> and yeah there was some old woman looking at us and she weren't very happy but that was good fun but this one is in much better condition than the previous two we've had as a family my brother still has his Clio 180 which we also recently filmed and considering this car is old and it smells nice and old in here it actually dries really well but no it's actually pleasantly it's quite it's actually quite quiet in here we're going over some bumps now there's no suspension knocks or anything like that it's quite refined for an old car it has quite a low mileage of 78,000. and going by mot history this car has only done 3,000 miles over 17 years so it hasn't been used much at all and that's probably why it isn't rusty as it should be of a car or a Ford this year so I said because it just hasn't been used much. Interior for this age of car there's no rips the seats aren't stained apart from the cracked dash which again these escorts unfortunately suffered with there's yeah all the headline is good and everything's as it should be. So this car of my brother's is actually for sale it's up for around about five thousand pound obviously it's open to offers so this car being a 1985 car like i've been raving on in this video is in exceptional condition it isn't as rusty as it should be perhaps and it's got low mileage for the car not many owners at all it's a roadworthy old escort it does get a lot of looks when we take it out for a spin this has been my brother's second mark III escort he's owned now and if any of you are generally interested in buying this car making an offer then get in touch by leaving a comment below or check out my other social medias and drop me a message so here we are yet again filming another one of my brother's cars he's also a petrol head hence why he goes and buys a few and i don't blame him because i'm just as bad if not worse i don't know but a big thanks to my brother for bringing out the escort today and to let me film it like i said this car is for sale so if you're interested then get in touch this is a really good condition Escort for a 1985 play, and it's been really nice to film this car today and get another different car on the channel. And obviously, we have more cars coming to the channel very soon. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in another video. 
Is someone coming? Oh, so I'm watching. <laughs> so this car is in exceptional consider. So this car is in an exceptional. I can't see. <laughs> he decided to paint the middle of this insert. He decided to point. I'm oh, getting confused. It's literally like an air raid siren. It's absolutely nuts. There's no need. It's absolutely no need. That's that noisy plane again, isn't it? Yeah. For goodness sake. With a manual choke as well. No, I don't think so. What auto, auto choke? choke? Has it not got a manual choke? No. 